What is the next economic growth point that the world is developing? It's the low altitude economy. 2024 is known as the first year of low altitude economy. Talking about low altitude economy is inseparable from previously introduced flying cars, also known as EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing. According to Allied Market Research, the global flying car market is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 34.1% between 2026 and 2035 as urban air transportation infrastructure develops. On January 1, 2024, the interim regulations on the administration of unmanned aircraft flight management came into force in China. Flying cars must obtain three certificates before entering the market. Type Certificate, Production License, and Single Aircraft Airworthiness Certificate. Similarly, flying cars operate in the United States also require three certificates. Let's compare the two head of EVTOL companies in the United States and in China. Joby Aviation and Yihan are both public traded companies. Founded in 2009, Joby Aviation is listed on the New York Stock Exchange and on July 29, 2021, began applying for an airworthiness certificate, becoming the world's first Evito airline. The California-based company is the first and so far only electric air taxi company to have final airworthiness standards published by the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. Established in 2014 and listed on the Nasdaq, Ihan provides a variety of unmanned aircraft products and solutions to customers in multiple industry sectors around the world covering air transportation, including manned transportation and logistics transportation, smart city management and aerial media. Ehan's flagship product EH216S has obtained the world's first unmanned EVTO aircraft type certificate, production certificate and standard airworthiness certificate issued by the Civil Aviation Administration of China. From a design perspective, Joby Aviation's all-electric aircraft is designed to carry a pilot and four passengers and operates with zero emissions. The aircraft has a range of 150 miles, approximately 241 kilometers, and can reach a speed of up to 200 miles per hour, equivalent to 322 kilometers per hour, and features revolutionary low noise levels. The Joby S4 is priced at $2 million per unit. Yihan focuses on developing unmanned passenger flying cars. The company produces flying cars that can be used in applications such as air mobility, logistics, firefighting, and aerial photography. Its main product, EH216S, is a two-person multi-rotor aircraft designed for urban air mobility. After obtaining the production certificate in early April this year, Yihan will enter the commercialization stage in 2024 to mass produce EH216S with a unit price of 333,000 US dollars. Yihan produces all its aircraft in house with an annual output of 600 aircraft. In terms of partnerships, in addition to their respective local layouts, both companies have coincidentally chosen Middle East countries to establish partnerships. Joby Aviation expands its UAE partnership, signing a multilateral agreement with three departments of the Abu Dhabi government to support the development of an electric air taxi ecosystem in the Emirate. A recently signed agreement with the Dubai government grants Joby Aviation exclusive rights to operate air taxi in the Emirate. The company has also gained the trust of the U.S. military industry. In early 2020, its Evito received military airworthiness approval and signed a contract to deliver nine flying cars to the U.S. government. In March 24, Joby Aviation announced that it would deliver two aircraft to McDill Air Force Base in 2025. 
In December 2023, Ihan joined the smart and automatic vehicles industry cluster, and they established a strategic partnership with Wins Logistics Hub. In April 2024, Ihan entered a strategic partnership with the Abu Dhabi Investment Office and MLG to promote the development of Evitol in the UAE. What is the financial health of both companies? Joby Aviation continues to lose money, with a net loss of $258 million for the full year of 2022 and a net loss of $313 million for the full year of 2023. Still, the company has strong investors to support its continued growth. In addition to Toyota and Uber, South Korea's SK Telecom also invested $100 million in June 2023. At the end of the first quarter of 2024, Joby Aviation's balance sheet remained solid with $924 million in cash and short-term investments. In comparison, Ihan's total revenue for the full year of 2023 was US $16.5 million, a year-on-year -year income increase of 165%. Adjusted net loss was 19.6 million US dollars, an improvement of 32.7% compared with a loss of 28.53 million dollars in 2022. To achieve the need for high energy density, Ihan strategically invested in solid state lithium metal battery technology last September, led by Shenzhen Inc.'s technology. What are the future plans of the two companies? Joby Aviation achieved its first manned flight in October 2023, followed by a live demonstration in New York City. If all goes well, it is expected to officially begin air taxi operations in 2025. In 2023, Ihan delivered 52 units of the EH216 series, a significant increase from 21 units in 2022. The local government has also placed some large orders, including an intention to order 100 units from Wuxi. In addition, Wings Logistics Hub, a company in the UAE, has expressed its intention to purchase 100 EH216S units. In the first quarter of 2024, Ihan expects revenue to be $58 million a year-over-year -year increase of 165%. They also expect positive quarterly growth in every quarter of 2024. In terms of profitability, Ihan expects the company to achieve full-year profitability in 2025.